So with this, we're looking at 10 to 15 years in the future, two okay. production cycles. Basically open the space up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, the dashboard has become much further away from you. The middle console is away. We gave you an ottoman. Uh, in the rear seat, you can see this is very different where you have basically a little bit more of a living room experience. You have a lot of leg room with a flat floor since mm -hmm. it's an electric vehicle. We're introducing new materials like wood. We have this moss materials here, yeah. bookshelf. This is really, um, not necessarily saying we would put this in a vehicle, it's more about this notion of uh, what does the future feel like? Sure. Doesn't have to be so cold, so sci-fi, mm -hmm. so technical as a lot of concept vehicles have become, but instead could we have it as a much warmer, more human, mm -hmm. more user focused? So the kind of things you would have at home, yeah. could you have it in a car as well? Purposefully built around autonomous driving, right? Okay. A lot of technology that's going on here as well. Um, since we have these surfaces so far away, you're used to control surfaces where you can basically touch a mm -hmm. volume knob or change the radio station, yeah. or even now we have touch screens in a lot of vehicles. You need to be able to touch it within mm -hmm. arm's reach. Mm -hmm. That's where the Hollow Active Touch system okay. was designed. If you want to sit inside, yeah. this is called the Hollow Active Touch. Okay. Three different technologies that are coming together to provide this. Mm -hmm. So we have, a, it's called a micro mirror display here, which is reflective image. Uh, full color yes. display below, basically floating in space. Oh, so you should be see. seeing something yes. basically here. Yeah. So then this is combined with a gesture camera here, oh, which tracks where your fingers are. And then if you look down here, this is an ultrasonic array. Okay. Um, this is basically ultrasonic jets that are pr uh, providing sound waves okay. that can be directed by the gesture oh, camera. So you can basically awesome. put a, a bit of sound on your finger and give you a haptic feedback. Oh, cool. You should see a start image yes. there. So if you press that. Do you feel anything on your face? Um, a little bit. I okay. mostly heard it. Yeah. Yeah. So here we have it's you're, it's recognizing you, bringing your content into the vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a screen that we have locked, so you can actually play around with it, okay. and it won't advance. So feel yeah. free to touch the buttons. Oh, see so now yeah. I felt it. I think I have to go a little bit further. Yeah. In. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a little, uh, not like a shock, but just like a yeah. little vibration. It is a vibration in the air is what's yeah. providing it, right? Cool. It's done with sound waves. Mm -hmm. So the other thing we're doing here is we um, wanted to get away from this dedicated frame display that we have mm -hmm. in vehicles now, which basically is limiting the amount of space, or when you have it turned off, you still have this black yes. rectangle yeah. in the middle of the dash. Mm -hmm. Here we're using a rear projections to simulate the idea of could the entire dashboard become a display? So surface geometry, interior design can be uh, a display where you can use as much of it as you want, so it's adaptive, or you can use as little of it as you want. Today's vehicles, you navigate via a map, and how do you get through a city? Uh, with a self-driving car, it's less important about tur specific turns that I'm gonna take or how I'm gonna get somewhere. So we looked at new ways of navigating. Okay. Uh, so we have an intelligent system built into the vehicle. The idea is it can rec recommend a route by other methods. So if you click yes here, example of that is could it give you a route based on how you're feeling or could it read your biometrics and give you a route based on that? So you can choose one of these options. Calm, now it's reading you, it knows your heart rate, these kind of things, and it can provide a route uh, that's based on that. So in this case, maybe it's going by the lake because you're feeling a little calmer yeah. and scenic. Yeah. So just a different way to navigate, less about how do I get someplace, but more about the what is yeah, what there. is matching my feeling. Yeah. Sure. Now we're in auto mode, and um, when you're in autonomous driving, an uh, intelligent system can provide content that's based mm -hmm. on the amount of time you have. So it's all sure. about maximizing yeah. your time. So if you had five minutes, it can give you an article to read. Here mm -hmm. we have 25 minutes it can recommend a movie. Sit back, you should be able to experience our sound curtain oh, yeah. technology, so where you have sound, and you should feel something in your... Oh, yeah. 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 So this is using uh, directional speakers, which are directed at, and then a shaker system built into the seat back. There's also noise canceling, so in the case that we were just experiencing, we're sharing the audio. I'm gonna pick up Michael. And I'm Michael getting into the vehicle. Mm -hmm. I could bring my own content in and we could have different experiences with, oh, in here. So say if we want to bring my music in, we can listen to different music types. So you're listening to a rock track. I'm listening to Beethoven and we don't have bleed over. Right. Yeah. yeah. Make a phone call. Mm -hmm. So here it's recommending you call Patricia. Then you're able to do this. So down here we have a personal video call, which is privatized. So I can't see it or hear it. 
where you're able to do this. So if, say, you wanted to do an office call or something like yeah. this, and you have someone in the car that you don't want to see those things, you can do it. Or if you click the button, you have a shared uh, video um, call where we're both talking. In here, um, the intelligence system is able to scrub through the call mm -hmm. and give you recommendations based on that. So say, uh, Megan broke her shoelaces, you're able to uh, buy shoelaces yeah. and then through third party uh, ecosystem things like the Amazon Prime sure. Air, you can then send it directly to the game. Mm -hmm. so, so we have BMW connected yeah. and the Open Mobility Cloud, so okay. all of your content can then be connected into uh, into the phone or at home you can then connect to the same content, right? And then you can also watch live streaming nice. content, so if you want to watch the game, then we have that on our way there. There's kind of this, uh, it's a micro perforated yeah. surface where the ambient light mm -hmm. passes through it. Uh, we have a tablet, so you can have personal devices that are integrated mm -hmm. into it. So um, this can be connected to your services that you use at home. So sure. if so your kids are watching Angry Birds at home on Amazon Video, click that and then they mm -hmm. can stream this content where they were watching, continue watching it. Here. Nice. The Very design. nice. Or if you want to use the sort of geolocation services in the car, you can see what you're driving by, mm -hmm. information, sort of contextual stuff that's near you. It's two things that we've become very good at. One is heads up display, the other mm -hmm. is gesture control. Yeah. So it's combining both of those into mm -hmm. one experience and then adding the haptics to it. Sure. So, so this is something that very early technology, mm -hmm. uh, but can have a lot of potential.